Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Queen's Kiss line by Constance Hall. Um, if you do not know who Constance Hall is, she is a mum blogger, um, she's an author, she is a fashion designer I think. I think she, she does fashion like she makes dresses um she has her own she has her own label which is called queen's kiss so i am just going to be reviewing the lipstick and lipstick liners that she has recently launched which um contains of three lipsticks and three lipstick liners which i have picked up all three of them or six of them all up and yeah so i'm just gonna jump straight into the review okay so this is the first lip liner and this is in the shade bareback and this is the packaging it's really boohoo-ish um it's really cool i actually really like the packaging um so queen's kiss is vegan and cruelty free and yeah so it's an australian brand um, just in case you didn't know um, she's from Western Australia and yeah so it's called it's Queen's Kiss by Constance Hall and yeah and this is the shade bareback so this is the liner it just comes with it like the shade like what it looks like um, it is a twisty and that is the shade looks like the perfect nude so I am going to align my lips with this Okay, that just broke so that isn't a good sign hmm okay now I didn't have it all the way down either I like I mean all the way I didn't have it all the way up I rolled it back down so that broke that snapped off so that is disappointing first off the bat Um, it's creamy but not that creamy like it, I actually thought it'd be a bit creamier to be honest but anyway disappointing that it, this broke but the show must go on now the lipsticks the lipsticks come in same packaging as the as the um, lip liners really cool and has the name yeah bare back and it just has the ingredients and on the back on the bottom has 12 months so it's got 12 month life shelf life um, this is the lipstick so it says it's a matte lipstick M A double T and it's a bullet form looks like alright so I'll wind that down a little bit because we don't want to repeat alright A 
they don't have a smell which is nice I like this colour. It is a nice nude. So that is bareback. Um, it's got so it just says on here on the tube it says a vegan formula infused with hemp oil and argan oil to keep lips nourished. So it says it's a matte, but it's not drying down to a matte. So be interesting to see how long it lasts so yeah I shall keep you up to date with how long they last all right on to the next one okay so the next one we have is called dusty rose and that comes in this pretty blue packaging and it's got the Color there, it will focus. Um, same deal with the lipstick packaging, same color as the thing as the lip liner, which I like. I, I think it's really cool packaging. I actually really like the packaging. This is Dusty Rose. And this is the lip liner. Looks very similar to the other one. Um, the other one's a bit more nude. Okay. See how we go with this one. I will pull it down a bit. They're very soft, um, as in the colour is soft, not the formula. The formula is nice, but it's not. It's not as soft as some of my favourite liners. This is the the bullet, and it just has dusty rose on the bottom. This is the colour. So it is a cool pink, very very pretty. It's my kind of colour. And this would be nice paired with the bare back liner as well if you wanted to make it a little bit darker. So that is a dusty rose. So the last one we have is in a purple box and it is called Harlow Fever this is a berry sort of colour okay let's whack this on Okay, straight off this one feels creamier than the other two. Glides on a lot easier. I 
and is more pigmented. So this is the Wallet in Halo Fever. This is bright curly red. Now they're quite, they feel quite slippery, so I'm not sure the wear time, like during the day, I'm not sure how they, I'm not sure how they will wear, um, but they are pigmented and they are comfortable on the lips. Um, I do like all three colours. This one is the creamiest um, and feels the nicest. But my favourite one is the Dusty Rose. I love that colour. That was really pretty. Um, I like this colour as well. Maybe not with this eye look, this situation. As for wear time, I can't say how long that they wear for because I haven't worn it for very long. Um, I will leave a comment down below to update you guys on how long that they they wear for um and how I find them like my full review um but this is just like a try on um and the first impression of of the brand and to be honest I it's quite nice okay so on her website it's likeaqueenshop.com um they retail for $24.95 each that is for the lipsticks and $14.95 for the lip liners you can also pick them up in a set for um they're actually on sale now for $33.90 um this post is not sponsored at all I purchased these with my own money um do I think they're worth it? I'm not sure. I have to wear it for a bit longer. Um, it's not too bad. It works out about fifteen, $16 each, which isn't too bad. Um, a MAC lipstick is $30, um, and I love MAC lipsticks. Um, Jeffree Stars are $29. Um, so, they they're mid range. Um, do I, I think it's a little bit pricey for like a first launch of a brand? A little bit. Um, I think that they probably could have been about sixteen dollars, um, and I would have been a bit happier to pay for it. But um, if I do love them, um, and she brings out more, I will probably buy more. But um, yeah, I will just wait and see to see how they go. The lasting power, whether they slide off my face and end up over here or on my chin or wherever. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a lipstick and it's a lip liner. So um, I like supporting Australian brands, indie brands. Um. And she is a small brand so yeah so I think I think she's done well for her first launch and she's picked up she's picked really good colors um, that suits pretty much everyone so that is pretty good um, I will leave I'll leave a link down below for her shop in case you want to go check it out 
um as i said it, this video is not sponsored in any way shape or form i purchased all of this with my own money um it's just if you want to go check it out just have a look i will keep wearing this and i will leave it in the description how it wears throughout the day and how i like it and if it's worth your money in picking it up but as i said they are quite creamy and they are vegan and cruelty free which is a plus sign always good and an aussie brand as well which i love so yeah until next time guys i will speak to you in my next video bye